Hello fellers. How are you doing? Today I'm gonna destroy a myth that has been online for a long time. To cut it short, we'll have to talk about Archer Fordham, this guy, and the final mission of Red Dead 1, the last enemy that shall be destroyed. Everyone remembers how John's life ended, but there are some little details to find out in this final sequence of the game. Firstly, among the men that assault John's farm, there's the army captain, a character that had a secondary but interesting role in chasing Dutch. Now follow me because it gets a little tricky. When John looks outside the barn, he sees a troop of soldiers and detectives ready to kill him, then he opens the door and gets destroyed by them. If you want you can try to kill them, they'll die after just one shot, no matter where you shoot, each of them will behave like this, apart from Edgar Ross who was invulnerable, this is an important detail, keep it in mind for later. Now, this should be simple, if Archer is really there, he will be visible among the others, also because during John's death, there's a cutscene showing them zoomed. That's actually what made many gamers believe that Fordham wasn't there. You see, when John opens the door a little, you can spot a figure dressed in black with a gray vest. It can be any detective, but, guess what, he's exactly who we are looking for. You can see him standing in front of John and aiming him with a rifle, which is a bit odd considering Fordham is a city boy and has access to advanced guns. You can try to shoot the people next to him in order to see him better, and that's what I tried to do, here you have some clips. The quality isn't great and I see that some of you could be skeptical about it, but if you don't believe me, check the post made by Sulky Eye, who I thanked since he was the one that made me realize I have always lived in a lie until now and gave me the inspiration to make the video. You can find the link of the post down in the description, Archer was indeed among them. This myth remained alive for so long because the wiki itself is wrong about it, but the presence of Archer in this scene is important for the character. I've always believed that he didn't participate to the final assault because he kinda respected John in the end, so I respected Archer as a consequence. Now, though, things have changed, but this doesn't deny that Fordham was much more honest and respectable than that Snake Ross, and moreover John is a murderer son of a b so he'd have all the reasons to participate. There's a final problem, does this mean that Archer canonically dies by John's hand? This can be corroborated by the fact that Archer is the first guy the game makes you aim. However, I don't think so, because of what I said earlier. If they really wanted to give him a role in this mission, why not putting him in the final cutscene? He doesn't ever appear in it whether you kill him or not. He wasn't such an important character but in any case it wouldn't make much sense to make him get killed like that without the player even noticing it, so my guess is that he was put just as a filler, they had to create a troop so they put inside whoever was available, along with the army captain, in case he's there too, who seemed all but aggressive towards John and, even though he had to follow orders, could have simply refused to be part of the squad that physically killed him, moreover, as I said earlier, his model even appears many times during the first attacks made by the soldiers, so you technically kill him more than once. Ross is probably the only one that was really supposed to be there, since he cannot be killed and always appears in the cutscene. It's kinda unlikely, for a company like Rockstar, to put a character that had a distinct role in the story in the final mission just as a filler, but it's even more unlikely that they didn't bother about giving him a proper cutscene or something. My opinion is that after the mission where Dutch dies, his fate remains willingly unknown and that's it. In conclusion, we don't really know what's Archer's role in this mission and probably it's not that important, but now we know that the wiki is full of shit. Nah I'm joking, it was just a totally understandable oversight, considering he's more camouflaged than a chameleon in the last mission. Okay, the video is basically over, I hope you enjoyed it, see you.